So we now know how to solve systems of linear equations by graphing and by using our graphing calculator. So now let's use our first method algebraically, which is substitution. So example two says solve the following systems by substitution. So what I need to do is I need to solve for one of these variables. The easiest variable to solve for is this positive y. So to get y by itself, I would have to move this 3x over, and the opposite of a positive 3x is a negative. So this would be the same as negative 3x plus 3. Now that I have one of my variables solved for, I'm going to substitute that into this top equation for y. I now know what y equals. y equals negative 3x plus 3, so I'm going to replace this y with what it equals. So we've got 2x minus, my y is negative 3x plus 3, and then equals negative 8. I rewrote this, but in place of y, I substituted that in. So now solve. Before, I couldn't solve this equation because I had two unknowns. I didn't know x and I didn't know y, but now that I have substituted in my y, and it equals something with an x, now I have a linear equation with one unknown. I can solve that. So the first thing we need to do is distribute in this negative. Negative times negative makes that a positive 3x, and then minus 3 equals negative 8. Combine your like terms. 2x plus 3x gives me 5x. And now we have a two-step equation. We're going to add our 3 over. And I get 5x equals negative 5. And then lastly, divide by 5. So we get x equals negative 1. I have two unknowns here. I have solved for the first one. I now know x. So now we need to get y. So you can substitute it into the top equation or into the bottom equation, or the best one is this equation here, which is the bottom equation, but it is rewrote where it's y equals. And so now this is just straight substitution. So we did this first to get our x. So now, second, I am plugging in my x here to get my y. So we have y equals negative 3 times x equals negative 1. I'm substituting it back in. So negative times negative makes out a positive 3. And so y equals 6. Now, for the record, I am pretty sure your homework just wants to know x equals blank, you'll type in the negative 1, and then they'll have y equals a blank, and you'll type in the 6. But for me, I need these as ordered pairs, right? So my, my solution is the ordered pair, negative 1, comma, 6. And that should look familiar because in our very first example here, we solved the exact same thing, and when I solved this graphically, we got negative 1, comma, 6, which is exactly what I got here when I solved by substitution. When I solve these same things using different methods, I'm not going to get different results. I'm going to get the exact same answer. It's just different ways to get it. So solving graphically is the same thing as solving by substitution as far as the answer that you're going to get. Now let's do one application problem here. The perimeter of a rectangle floor is 90 feet. Find the dimensions of the floor if the length is twice the width. Okay, so let's just kind of review back to our, our geometry days here. If I have a rectangular floor and the perimeter here is 90 feet, a perimeter is what? Okay. Hopefully you said the distance around, right? If you think of this as a backyard, this is the fencing that we need, right? 
And so it goes on to say that after the perimeter is 90 feet, it says find the dimensions of the floor if the length is twice the width. The length is twice the width. Which one of these do we not know anything about? I don't know anything at all about this width, right? So these two widths here are my starting point. These are my X. So if my width is X, how do you represent that the length is twice the width? It would be two times X, okay? The length is twice the width. I don't know anything about my width. That's my starting point. That's my x. And now to represent that the length is twice, 2 times x. So your formula for perimeter is we have two lengths. Or sorry, we have two lengths. So we have 2L plus 2W. Okay, or you could do length plus width plus length plus width, whatever you want to do. And I'll substitute everything in. My perimeter is 90. My length is this 2x. My width is just x. So before I had two variables that I didn't know. I had an L and I had a W, but now that I've substituted these in, I now only have one unknown, just that X. So two times two X is four X. Two times X is two X. These are like terms. So we'll add and get 90 equals 60 X divided by six. And we get 15 equals x. So let's answer the questions. It wants us to find the dimensions of the floor. If x equals 15, then that tells me that my width right here is 15. And then if we substitute in 15 for this x, this means that my length here is 30. Now, typically we don't like word problems and I don't quite blame you, but also word problems are nice because does this make sense? Is my length twice my width? Yes, we have 15 and we have 30. And is the perimeter of this floor 90 feet? Well, if you add up 30 plus 15 plus 30 plus 15, you do get 90. And so it does check out. So word problems need word answers or at the very minimal uh, units. Find the dimensions of the floor. The floor is 15 feet by 30 feet.